Hello my dear children, this is your computer teacher. In computers, chapter 4 that is working with tables was going on. Today we will discuss the exercises of the chapter. So let's get started. So let's start with the filling the blanks. Here the first question is, in memo data type we can store a maximum of dash characters. As I have told you in memo, how many characters we can store? We can store 65,536 characters. So this is the right answer. Second question is the dash generates a sequential number whenever a new record is added to a table. Means, as a concert data type hai, just automatically apna sequential number generate karta hai jab bhi hum ek naya record add karte hai table mein. So which data type is this? This is auto number data type. So the right answer is auto number. Third is a dash property is an attribute that defines the field appearance or behavior within a database. Means, as a consa attribute hai, jo field appearance or behavior batata hai database ke andar. As we know, field property se hame field ka appearance ya behavior pata chalta hai. So, the right answer is field property. Here, property is already written, so we will write field. Fourth question is, dash key is used to move to the next column. अगर हमें next column में जाना है, table में when we are entering the data in the table, then if we want to go to the next column, we will use tab key. So the right answer is tab. Fifth question is, dash stores up to 1 GB of data. कौन से data type में 1 GB तक data आ सकता है? Right answer is hyperlink. Okay? Sixth question is that dash data type is used to store test. So if we want to store test means alphabetic values then what we will use? We will use test data type. So the right answer is test. Seventh question is the primary key is a dash key. Primary key kaisi hoti hai? I have told you this is a toggle key. Agar hum is pe ek bar click karte hai to primary key ban jati hai. Dobara se click karte hai then primary key hart jati hai. So this is a toggle key. Eighth question is to delete a row first select the row and then click on dash button on the design tab. So, we have to delete row, so what we will have to press? We have to press delete rows button in the design tab. So, the right answer is delete rows. True, false. First question is, a table can have only one primary key. A table can have more than one primary key? No, a table have only one primary key. This is true. Right, answer. Second question is, remove sort command is located in the sort and filter group. Remove sort command is placed where? In sort and filter group. This is also true. Right. Answer. Question number three is, access saves the table automatically after saving it once. Means, ek bar humne table save kar di, after that, access will automatically save it. This is true. Right. Answer. Question number 4 is the primary key button is available on the design tab. Primary key button kaha pe available hai? Design tab mein. Is it true? Yes, kyunki primary key hum designing time pe banate hai. This is also true. Right, answer. Question number 5 is shift plus tab key removes the cursor to the next field. Shift plus uh, tab key se hum log next field mein jate hai kya? No, we go to the previous field. Shift plus tab key ko use karke hum log previous row mein ya previous field mein jate hai. So this is false. Right. Answer. Question number 6 is, it is not essential to specify data type for our field name. Means, jab hum log field name banate hai, then at that time it is not essential. Aisa zaruri nahi hai ki hum data type declare kare. So is it true? No, we have to declare data type. So, we have to make a table, so we have to design the table, and we have to tell the field names and data types. So, this is false. Right. Answer. Question number 7 is, a number data type can store only integer values. In number data type, there are integer values, means points values. So, is it true? No. In number data type, we can store points values. It's not required that they should be integer. They could be float also. So this is false. Right. Answer. Question number 8 is OLE data type stores a link to a web page. Agar hume web page ka link store karna hai, then which data type we will use? We will use hyperlink, not OLE. So this is false. Right. Answer. Now let us see the ABQ. The first question is, your teacher has shown you the following table structure. 
In your opinion, which column header should be chosen as the primary key for this table? Please note that the column header ID is inserted by default. Hence, do not include this in your answer. Means, यहाँ पे हमारे पास एक table दी हुई है. You can see here, this is the table, and this ID is coming by default. This cannot be the answer. ठीक है? These city, company name, department, first number, last number, and mobile number are the field names. ये सारे field names हैं. हमें इसमें से एक को primary key बनाना है. So, which option you will use to choose the primary key? इसमें से किसको primary key आप बना सकते हैं? As you know, city बहुत सारे लोगों की same city हो सकती है, so this cannot be primary key. Company name can be same for so many persons. Department can also be same. First name, last name can also be same. But mobile number is different for every person. So the primary key will be the mobile number. So the right answer is mobile number. Now see the next question. Second question is Apex Corporation is designing a database for all its employees. The designer want to store the passport size photograph of each employee linked to their respective names. Can you suggest which data type should be, they can use? Apex Corporation ने डेटाबेस बनाया है जिसमें सारे एम्प्लॉयज का रिकॉर्ड रखा है. अब उसको अपने हर एम्प्लॉय का फोटोग्राफ भी स्टोर करना है नेम के साथ में डेटाबेस में. तो कौन सा डेटा टाइप यूज़ करेंगे हम फोटोग्राफ स्टोर करने के लिए? I have told you that only a data type is used to store the Photograph, MS Word file, Excel file. So here he will use OLE object to store the photograph of every employee. Okay. Now let's learn the MCQs. Here the first question is which key moves the cursor to the previous field in data sheet view? Data sheet view में अगर हमें previous field पे जाना है, तो which key we will use? We will use Shift plus Z. Right. Answer. Question number two is what is the maximum number of characters that can be stored to define a field name? अगर हमें field name को define करना है, तो how many characters we can use for that? We can use up to 64 characters. Right. Answer. Okay. So this is the right answer. Question number three is what do you call the area where you can view the record numbers you have entered in a table? Means हम लोग उस एरिये को क्या बोलते हैं जिसमें हम लोग देख सकते हैं कि हमने टेबल में कितने रिकॉर्ड एंटर किए हैं रिकॉर्ड नंबर्स हम किस एरिया में देख सकते हैं सो दैट एरिया इन विच वी कैन व्यू द रिकॉर्ड नंबर्स इज कॉल्ड रिकॉर्ड नेविगेशन बार सो द राइट आंसर इज रिकॉर्ड नेविगेशन बार ओके फोर्थ क्वेश्चन इज विच शॉर्टकट की कॉम्बिनेशन इज यूज टू गो टू द स्पेसिफिक रिकॉर्ड बाय यूजिंग द करंट रिकॉर्ड बॉक्स मीन्स के शॉर्टकट की को यूज करके you can go to the specific record. एक particular specific record पे हम जा सकते हैं. So that shortcut key is R plus F5. So the right answer is R plus F5. Right answer. Question number five is which of the key combination is used to save the changes and close the table? कौन सी key combination को use करके आप अपने जो database है उसमें changes save करते हैं and table को close कर देते हैं पूरा? That is CTR plus W. Right. Answer. Question number six is which icon indicates the edit mode in Access? Access में जब आप लोग editing करते हैं, then at that time you will see there is the icon of pencil. आपको एक छोटी सी pencil बनके दिखती है उसमें. Okay, so the right answer is pencil. Right. Answer. So children, this much for today. Thank you. Bye bye.